Hi, this is Rodney Pilbrow speaking. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about a file format which we don't usually give to clients, a .obj. .obj comes with MTL and JPG, and it is a 3D file format, and it, it works similarly to the 3D PDF, but in conjunction with 3D Reshaper Viewer, which is a free viewer, which can be downloaded from the 3D Reshaper website, then it is possible to take measurements from the data that we supply. So when you open the, double click on the 3D Reshaper Viewer icon, then 3D Reshaper Viewer will open, and it will look similar to this, but there will be fewer tabs up here. You'll have a home tab, which is how it should open, and you'll have a measure tab, which is where we're all doing our measurements. So to load the OBJ into the 3D Reshaper, it's just a matter of left-clicking and holding on the OBJ file and dragging it on and releasing the left-click. It will then open in 3D Reshaper. It will ask if you want to make everything into one mesh, which we do, so just click OK, and it's now opening. So you'll see that it looks very similar to the 3D PDF. The way that you move the data in 3D Reshaper is slightly different. Instead of the left click for the rotate, you use the right mouse button. So hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse, and you'll rotate. Both left and right, and move to data. And again, the mouse wheel will zoom in and zoom out. Holding down the right mouse button and swiveling, you can get a little bit carried away sometimes. You see here, it's quite hard to keep track of this data. But on the free viewer, there's this nice icon down here, use reference vector, that's this one. If you left click on there, and then use your right mouse button, it forces the data to stay more vertical. And it makes it a lot easier to keep it, in, keep it looking sensible. So now to doing some measurements. Let's say you wanted to know how high this particular face was. By clicking on the measure tab here, and then you will find measure with mouse. So left click on that and it will bring up this window. Now one thing we have to make sure of is that this icon here, point on selection, has a little green tick beside it. That means wherever you left mouse click, it is going to take a measurement. So if we want to do this top of batter, so we use our right mouse to move it around until, and then zoom in, and we want to take it here, so left mouse click, and then it gives us the coordinates and an elevation there. And I mouse wheel out, move my cursor, mouse wheel in, right mouse, rotate, until I decide where I want to take the shot, and left click. And then this gives another coordinate and elevation, but it's also giving us the distance. So in this case, we want this DZ, which is the change in elevation, so 12.6 meters. If we want to do another measurement, let's say we want to check the height of this one as well, then zoom in on the point that you want to start, left click, zoom out, zoom in, left click, and again, it tells us that this is 12.17 meters. But it's also giving us the X and Y differences and various other bits of information. But probably the most important would be this distance and the change in elevation. But because it's also bringing off the coordinates, this is quite useful if you need to uh, get us to set something out or you're trying to explain where you want something done. You can just left click on a point and it will give you the coordinate and elevation. And you can just cancel to come out of there. There are a lot more things that you can do in here so feel free to give me a call and I will explain further. Thank you.